10.69.3.1 Leaving Lowe's and heading back toward home. A little hesitant pulling out of the parking lot. I gave it some acceleration to get it going because there were some cars behind me. All right, so right here, it needs to be in the second lane. Does it know that now? very good it has always always tried to get in that right lane um, um, okay come on all right so it always tried to get in the far right lane which as you could see had some pylons that once you get in that lane make that turn you can't get back out of that lane you're stuck going into the school parking lot so that is a first so that is good Normally I would have to disengage there and uh, make it get in the correct lane. Now when once it did turn, it should have gotten over into the left lane because that second lane also turned um, into the school. But oh, one second. That's my fault. I forgot to remove that stop. So yeah, I've got a lot of stops, uh, as you can see on here. To be able to go on the route that I want on this road, rather than jumping on the highway and back off, um, because there are several exits, I have to put multiple waypoints uh, to keep me off the highway. <clears throat> An avoid highway option would be really nice, especially for beta testers. And apologies there, I somehow did not hit record on my screen, and um, just noticed it when I happened to look down in my console. So, right here, move a stop. Very good creeping. That, I would say that's the best creeping it's done there. Very smooth, exactly like I would do to make sure I could see under this bridge. All right. Okay, I've pointed this out here before. Um, the lane ends, it says merge left, right here. Um, but the car stays in this lane all the way until the lane doesn't exist and whips over, usually crosses, yep, crosses the yellow line on the left and back over. So, yeah, those kind of things just, it, just, it needs to pre-plan, especially when it sees a sign. Um, 
you know, obviously it can't read those signs yet, but once it does, pre-plan, it sees the lane's going to end, go ahead and get over. So those kind of improvements are more for comfort, um, definitely not a safety issue or a traffic violation, um, but you know, for the comfort of the passengers, just go ahead and pre-plan those kind of things. Flashing yellow. Let's see if it will slow down. It did not slow down at all. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe one night this week I need to go out at night and test the flashing yellows in town again. Usually there's at least a slight braking just for a second there. Um, and I always have to tap the accelerator to keep it from slowing down, you know, if a car is behind me or something. So this is a spot, um, I just scrolled the speed up because right here is where 55 miles per hour begins. Now the map data has always been wrong, but there used to be a, a speed limit sign there. Um, so the car would override that and would speed up in this section where it's divided anyway. But they did some construction here and they had the sign down and they never put it back up. So now the car just it thinks it's 45 from the map data. It doesn't see a sign saying that it's um, 55 now, and so it never speeds up. There is a sheriff deputy sitting over there, ready to catch speeders coming from the other direction. I'm telling you, people who, who live in other places don't understand how how much they are out, you know, in force to catch people speeding um, every single time I go out. Uh, that's exactly why I keep on about this whole slowing down immediately and slowing down ahead of a, a speed change because we have so many spots where the police and sheriff and state troopers even will sit and... Um, catch speeders who aren't slowing down coming into towns. Um, I know in other places it's not important. I've been to places where I never see a cop, ever. Uh, and then, you know, other places they just, they don't care about speeding, uh, maybe as much. But here, and there are other places too, small towns especially, where speeding is... Uh, very frowned upon. So just something that Tesla needs to be aware of and take into account. So going to slow me down to 40. It is not slowing down at all. I lowered my speed to 40. City limit is right up here and I'm still going 53. I'm not going to cross into town going 53 and a 35. Mm. All right. So one disengagement did not slow down at all. And I was just talking about why it needs to.
All right, slowing it down. 20 mile per hour zone. Still going 38. So disengagement number two for speeding. Still, come on, there we go. That was my fault. It um, kind of hesitated there and I had my hand weighted on the wheel and uh, popped it out of full self-driving. Oh, that was a nice move. All right, good move there. That was much less tricky. Now again, as you can see, there has been very, very little traffic on this trip out and back. So, um, not a stress test, just a, a first easy test for it. It should do really well with no traffic around. So. Yeah, so, um, Alright, so I've only got one more waypoint to delete after I make the turn at the wall. All right, so one thing it's doing that it never has really done before is even in small gaps where there aren't cars parked on the side, it's getting all the way back over to the right. So that's kind of new behavior. Normally it would kind of stay across yellow in between those gaps, if that makes sense. All right, so there's a car parked right before this turn, so this may change the dynamic a little bit. So normally there wouldn't be a car parked right there. Um, um, that was a really good turn. That was that was great. Um, I I'll have to do more testing because there actually is a video that I did quite a while back where a van was parked in that same spot and it did a perfect turn. If if you look at uh, back in my videos, I might have named it perfect turn at this wall, good turn at this wall, something like that. Okay, this will be different from most of the times I come here because there's a van parking right where I would usually swing out. That may have actually helped it. 
That was a perfect turn. It didn't go toward the wall at all. Um, where it actually did a really good job, and I'm talking and forgot to remove my waypoint. Custom routes would be awesome. I know I love having alternate routes, but custom routes where I can draw. Why is my car not getting over? See, that's, uh, that's something it's done before. If there's a car coming and you can see a car coming obviously from the distance, go ahead and get all the way over to the right instead of jerking back and forth in the middle. That was a very good turn and it did not floor it. It gives me time to scroll the speed down instead of having to brake. Um, so yeah, that was good. Overall, very good drives. Uh, the speed things need to be fixed. Um, other than that, pretty good. Um, very impressed compared to 69.3, which was pretty bad in my opinion. All right, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.